Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you one of my all-time favorite Linux distributions, Lubuntu. It's going to be the final beta before release of 14.10. So without further ado, let's uh, get onto the live CD. So we select our language here from boot and uh, we can try Lubuntu without installing. Something I recommend everyone who, uh, or everyone to do before installing a Linux distribution, just to make sure that the, dis the distribution itself is compatible with the hardware. Now, uh, I'm only gonna be showing you the live CD today because um, I've actually been unable to boot from an installed uh, version of this on my virtual machine, which is where I do all my testing. Now, this is a snapshot beta, so we can expect it to be significantly rough around the edges, but it should give us something of a reasonable demonstration of what to expect. Now, I was very impressed six months ago with the long-term support release of Lubuntu, so it'll be interesting to see how far they've come since then, but LXDE and Lubuntu is a reasonably reserved and conservative distribution, one of the reasons why I like it. So I'm not expecting to see any grand changes, and this is really just to make sure that they are, um, well, that they are as good as they always are. So uh, what do we got here? Well, we've got the very... Um, you know, the very well-known uh, background uh, style wallpaper, um, all that kind of stuff in the uh, in the old system tray there. Uh, what kind of web browser is it sporting? So this is significantly more responsive, even on a virtual machine, than the Unity interface. You can kind of expect that though. So it um, it bundles with Firefox, which I think is what it was bundled with. Um, in the uh, in the last distribution, which was fourteen four, uh, which. I believe it used to be bundled with Chromium, but, but since it became more of a mainstream distribution, uh, it really was sensible for them to switch to Firefox, because at least Mozilla is a company that people are generally more comfortable with than Google. Now, don't get me wrong, I use a lot of Google, I'm on YouTube for crying out loud, but I can certainly understand some of the animosity and the um, people sort of wanting to distance themselves wherever possible from Google, because it can seem like it's a little, you know, it's a little of an overbearing company sometimes. So anyway, we've got the ever so standard um, LXDE menu, perfect. Perfect it is, because you've got accessories, Got your accessories there and it comes with a solid bundle like significantly more than in the standard ubuntu because of course lxde being significantly smaller and this being a lot more lightweight it's got the disk space available on its cd to actually bundle a decent amount of software with it it's got pigeon it's got transmission which is for BitTorrent, instant messaging um that's pretty damn awesome with xmpe xmpp uh which is uh the one of the reason why that caught my eye was because DuckDuckGo, the search engine, actually has an instant messaging service. It's an XMPP server, uh, which I'll probably do, do a video about sometime because it's nice to have an instant messaging service that is uh, that, that comes from a, a trusted company uh, to actually protect your privacy. Uh, it's got graphics. It comes with, so it doesn't come with GIMP. Although, then again, would you really expect it on a lightweight distribution anyway? Uh, and the office it comes with Abbey Word and Numeric. Now, I've got to admit, I am one of those people that thinks that maybe Lubuntu could could come bundled with LibreOffice, maybe. Um, I use Lubuntu uh, and install it on a lot of systems of friends and family of mine who want to um, upgrade from uh, Windows XP, because Windows XP is, of course, no longer supported, uh, but they don't really think that their computer's up to running, say, Windows 7. They don't want to buy a new machine because the hardware is working perfectly. So I often um, encourage them to install uh, Lubuntu and I have never had a problem with anyone I know who's upgraded to Lubuntu from XP. Obviously, if you're upgrading from XP, it's not really going to be a gaming machine. It's not going to be a multimedia machine. It's going to be a type of machine where uh, Linux and Lubuntu can cover all the bases uh, very, very easily. And people have been ecstatic about not only how easy it is to use. This is a lightweight distribution um, as well. So it's sometimes it's, it's kind of sometimes has that stigma of... Um, be maybe being a little less user friendly, but it's not. It's actually uh, more, you know, it's it's well more user friendly. It's easy because um, it's like Windows ninety five. It's like an operating system that's been be that's been used for goodness knows how long now. So um, we've got Abbey Word now. Abbey Word is a great lightweight word processor, but to be honest, these XP machines that I've um, installed on friends and family's computer, I installed LibreOffice over top of that, and it runs really smoothly and really quickly as well. This uh, sort of LXDE installation could this could run I, I'm sure it could run with Abbey Word on practically anything um, so that being said um, yeah Abbey Word it's more lightweight than LibreOffice is it really needed I mean it's, it's again it's snappy it's off the live CD um, 
got a new window here. It's just, it's very, very, yeah. Save as. So it wants to save it as an Abbey, so the default Abbey Word as well, this is one of the problems, well, I say it's one of the minor issues I have with Abbey Word, is that it wants to save it as, a, as an Abbey Word file type. Now, it presumably, opens up, yeah, it's got the open document all the way down there. No, it does, actually, it does. That's EPUB, which I believe is the open source ebook format. Uh, that's quite neat. Um... But it's got, uh, but it, I mean, it works with a, a open doc, open office format, which um, is particularly important now because due to recent gov government met legislation, open office, the open office document type is the standard word processing document type across um, governmental uh, departments, which is particularly useful because that again is likely to spread out to the corporate sector or the commercial sector. Um, and also it does recognize the value that open source and open office and LibreOffice can bring. Um, so that being said, uh, you know, Abbey Office is an adequate um, bundle in it, but it's it's been a minor uh, complaint of mine. Not, I don't know, it's not even really a complaint. It's been a minor uh, thing of mine that uh, that it would have been nice to include maybe LibreOffice or just LibreWriter, LibreCalc um, to do the... Uh, to do the uh, to do for the office package, it's got audacious. That's not too bad. Uh, it's got gnome M player, which I know is significant. Is, is particularly lightweight. Um, again, I, I usually install VLC, but I know VLC. Of course, I think it's Qt based, if I'm not mistaken, and and is maybe it's a bit bulkier, so I can understand them maybe not including that. Of course, though, um, future iterations of LXDE are quite likely to be Qt based, and it'd be quite interesting to see what kind of software bundle um, comes out of. Lubuntu, once that change happens, we could very well be seeing um, VLC be included out of the box on a on a Lubuntu installation. Um, and of course, uh, LibreOffice actually does include a lot of its own um, libraries for, for its user interface, whereas Abbey Word uses the GNOME uh, GTK uh, 3, I'm assuming, uh, which which probably keeps the file size down. So maybe I can kind of sort of empathize with why they do it. But it, again, I, I guess I would probably opt for the kind of software that people feel more comfortable using and people, you know, that's sort of more widespread, used more more widely. But that's just me. You've got the uh, file manager here, the same old um, PC Man FM. Uh, I'm not super fussy on my uh, file managers. I mean, they could use PC FM, they could use Thunar or Thunar. Um, they probably don't want to use anything more heavier than that. And like I say, I like the snappiness. Um, I like the fact that you can just... Yeah, and this is on a live CD on a virtual machine. So if it's as snappy as that... And uh, and again, uh, you've got, of course, you've got change desktops, quick launch. Um, we nailed down our user interface uh, over 10 years ago. Um, yeah, like well over 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we we pretty much nailed it down in 1995 for you know so 20 years ago really um and uh and and it, yeah like that's fine so i actually mentioned in my run through of ubuntu um this the same sort of version but on on uh, with the unity interface is that even though this looks like it's quite a mouse driven interface which is fine people know how to use a mouse mouse is straightforward mouse is easy it's very fast it's very straightforward uh, what you can of course do is press alt and f2 and it gives you a command. You can just type in Firefox. It even fills in the rest for you. Bang! So if you want to just use the keyboard, so Alt F2, Abbey Word. Bang. Perfect. Speedy. Man, they got it down. They got it down. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. I won't. I won't lie about that. That's perfect. Again, um, to be honest, the only, the only uh, real problems that Lubuntu has are tied to Ubuntu, tied upstream. Um, I would honestly like to have seen, say, this kind of effort, this kind of operating system come out of Mint. I'd like to see a Linux Mint LXDE edition. You could, ev you could even have, you could have Cinnamon and the LXDE edition. That's the only two versions of Mint that you would really ever need. Um, maybe a KDE version for the KDE fans out there. I know how they like their Qt libraries, but um, but ultimately, you know, this is fast. It's user friendly. You can use your keyboard. You can use your mouse. Um, I mean, yeah, it's like start graphics, internet, office, 
it's fast it's straightforward you know what what more do you want out of it oh there ah there is one one minor bug easily changeable easily changeable in fact a lot of you guys i'm sure in the comment section below will will say that i'm basically making up stuff to complain about and i'm i am i'm literally like trying to find negative things because i kind of want uh, to give some kind of balance to this i don't want it to be what is effectively a, a lubuntu commercial um but the the one problem that i have found is that this off button here is not in an ideal place. And I'll give you a bit of an example. If I open up any program, it can be actually maybe... Right, let's crack open Mozilla Firefox. And let's go to DistroWatch. Okay, this is just, this is any example. It works, you know, it kind of applies on just about any program. I kind of got a lot going on in the background, so it's stifling my internet connection right about now. Okay, so we've got here your good old distro watch, right? Oh, it's asking us to uh, to install Flash. No, thank you. No Flash for me. Okay, so anyway, right. What you've got here is um, is a lot of pe a lot of the time when there are actually uh, this is a bit strange, but um, a lot of people when they are clicking the down button on previous installs here, which is usually about there to try and to actually try and uh, Get down. Sometimes the down button here on the scroll bar, and they just accidentally click over to the the off button. Again, it's obviously it's not any kind of showstopper. I don't. There, obviously, there's no down button on this particular. Um, I'd, um, applications. Yeah, they actually they've they've taken away the the down button uh, on the scroll bar here, which is I don't know. Like I'm indifferent to that. I think dragging up and down is fine. Um, it al it's always worth bearing in mind when designing, you know, UIs and stuff that, uh, you know, like my mouse and a lot of people's mice don't have scroll bars or anything like that. So we kind of still rely on the on the old, uh, you know, clicky clicky method. Um, it might seem like it's a little bit out of the way to do that, but it's not. It's because uh, the trackable is just it's significantly more precise and it's easier to move your mouse from left to right over the screen. Uh, but yeah, uh, but what you can do, of course, is you can remove that. And then the worst case, you know, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, like I say, that's like that's me scrabbling for something um, so to say something negative about it because I really do like it. I even like the aesthetics on it. Actually, it looks quite nice. But of course, y you can theme it as a, you can you can theme it um, as easily as you like. Um, so yeah, and um, compared to Unity, this is this is fantastic. This is this is brilliant. I know it looks a little dated, and it kind of feels a little dated, but the thing is, we had it right. We've been doing it right. You know, we, we had it right twenty years ago. That's the thing, um, and I know that there is this kind of like feeling that we should try and change for the sake of change, um, or solve problems that might not even necessarily exist. But like I say you know LXDE knows the score it knows that a, a solution is a solution and a good solution is a good solution regardless of what everyone else around it's doing um, and I like the fact that it kind of keeps the, the, the clear head both LXDE and Lubuntu on that one um, one of the things actually when I was doing the Ubuntu Unity run through um, and I also found this problem with GNOME as well uh, and I'll of course be going through GNOME uh, over the coming days is that there is a lot of user interface stuff where it involves you going from left to right to opposite sides of the screen in mouse movements. Now this is nothing to me because again I'm untrackable, but if you are on a, a mouse that you move, a regular old mouse, um, it's, a, it's a bit, it's, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just more inefficiency, it's more effort, it's more time, it's more precision required um, to actually move from the left to the right of the screen. And I can kind of understand why that, like, I can see why Unity wants to perhaps move to a more tablet-y based interface. Um, and even, I guess, GNOME to a degree, or that's what at least it looks like. Um, when it comes to the desktop, you don't need to move your mouse a lot to get a menu going. That's, that's perfect. That is, you know, that's all you need. Right? How many clicks do you need? One, two, three. No, actually, that wasn't even three. That was, th God, I can't even count now. I swear, I know most of the numbers. Right. One, two. There you go. That's all you need. We had it. We had it right. So, um, so what? What I like about it, speed. It's no nonsense. It's easy to use. Does what it says on the tin. 
the software bundle is 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 good, really. Uh, I'd like to see LibreOffice on there, but for reasons I previously explained, I can see why they wouldn't include it. Um, the interface is perfectly customizable if you are into that kind of thing. I don't really customize the interface. I think I would take, I would get rid of the uh, the keyboard switcher because, of course, I've only got the one keyboard. I only use the one language. Um, other than that, man, it's 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 fantastic. I might uh, I might get rid. I might have gotten rid of the uh, the pager settings just to use the keyboard shortcuts when necessary. Um, but really, yeah, um, it's not changed barely at all since six months ago in the long-term support release. Why would it? It got it right then. There's no point in adding clutter to it now. Um, is this worth upgrading to? It depends how bleeding edge you want your software. To be honest, um, I've really kind of gotten into the habit of sticking on the long-term support releases for my main operating systems. I do like what Linux Mint are doing with it, but of course I'll cover that in a later video where they seem to be doing getting the best of both worlds almost. But... Um, but if you do, if you don't mind upgrading six monthly, um, and you like latest, you know the latest and greatest software, um, this is this is probably the route that you want to go down. Really, I think. Um, and to be honest, all cards on the table. I would recommend new Linux users Lubuntu over Ubuntu ten times out of ten. Ten times out of ten, it's more familiar. It's more comfortable. It's faster. When something says it's going to load, it loads. <laughs> it's brilliant. So. Um, you know, and, and, and like I say, there is this kind of like maxim that it's allegedly a little bit rough around the edges. It's allegedly a little bit more difficult to use, but I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I find it easier to use than Unity. Alt, F2, three, three, la uh, three, three keyboards, FIR, bang, it's up. Like, perfect. You don't need anything more. You don't need any, you know, it's... It's great. So, um, yeah, a roaring success. It's as good as it always is. I hope they can work out that boot problem um, for the final release so that I can actually show you what it would be like installed. Although, admittedly, it's probably like this. Um, so that's about it for me today. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, let me know what you think about your, uh, you know, what you think about um, Lubuntu, LXDE in general, down in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to tweet me up there. Um, I am getting quite a lot of comments on this channel these days, and it's getting increasingly difficult to respond and reply to as many of them as possible. I read them, I pretty much read them all, um, unless, like, they all come in at once, and sometimes it's kind of a little bit difficult. I try. Um, but if you guys want to ask me any questions, or you guys want to just have a chat about Linux, I'm free. <laughs> well, I've, I've free most of the time um, or I'm sort of at least um, in the mood to do it most of the time so feel free to check out um, uh, feel free to check out my Twitter and um, and yeah say hi uh, so that's about it for me today thank you very much for watching until next time I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome take care now so this is just the end slate, just to let you guys know uh, what other kind of projects I am working on. For those of you that don't know, I have a, a second channel where I do more informal, casual type stuff. And I also have a gaming channel, so if you guys are into that kind of stuff, uh, you might want to check those out. Also, if you want to ask me any questions or just have a chat about whatever it is that I've been talking about in this video, feel free to check out my Twitter and my Tumblr as well. I spend a fair amount of time on them. Toodaloo!